Welcome. In this video, I want to take a look at how you remove and then install a modular power supply for a PC. So step one, of course, is to unplug everything and uh, try to find yourself a nice workspace. Uh, usually PC components collect a lot of dust. So the first step I'm going to do here is to kind of give this a once over. A lot of times you can use like a spray can, an air spray can for that as well. Uh, so now we're just going to start unplugging everything after I quickly check over uh, the wires to see where everything's going. And in most cases, I'll start with the big old 24 pin ATX uh, connector. I'm going to follow that up with the CPU uh, 4x4 plug-in. I'll unplug my graphics card here uh, with my PCI Express cables and any other small peripherals. Here's my GPU fan. Most cases, of course, are going to have power uh, going to your hard drives and usually that's on the other side. So we'll kind of flip it around and get those guys unplugged and, and route the uh, SATA power cables back through um, from where they came from. And now that I have basically everything unplugged, I'm going to route my cables over and kind of do a, a, a once over. As you can see here, everything is now unplugged. And uh, if it is, uh, feel free to remove the uh, old power supply. Once again, probably dirty under there, so you're going to want to hit it up with a little bit of a, a dusting glove there. Here is my new power supply. Again, this is for a modular power supply. It's an AX860 uh, made by Corsair. They're fantastic power supplies, really quiet, and again, modular, so that we get this nice little bag of power cables, which allows us to uh, kind of, instead of having one huge mass of power cables, really only select and use uh, what we need. Now, because there are so many cables, one of the first steps with the modular supply like this is to just figure out which cables we need. So I'm gonna go ahead and just start kind of looking at my motherboard, looking at the peripherals I have, and you know, some of them are obviously like the ATX power supply, some of them not so much. Uh, and this is gonna, of course, depend on the, the manufacturer, but in the end, you'll have a selection of cables uh, that you need. You can basically plug things back in in any order that you want. I've chosen, uh, in this case, to start with the, uh, with the SATA cable. So we'll go ahead and get my SSD and my mechanical drive uh, plugged in. And then, of course, try to do a little bit of cable management. Try to get these cables out of the way so they're not obstructing or hitting anything. When we uh, flip back to the other side here, I'm going to start now with the big old ATX power connector. Again, just like it was probably removing it. Uh, There's a big thick cable, so make sure that you're uh, supporting the motherboard and not bending anything like your memory modules uh, as you're taking it off and putting it back in. The PCI Express cables sometimes are a little bit tricky. Um, here I have a 4x4, four four, but only three are in a single block, so I have to kind of pinch them together with my fingers here as I'm, as I'm slotting that, uh, that in. And again, I'm trying to support the case so I don't knock or bend anything. Uh, luckily, the other connector is a little bit easier. It's just a three prong, so that goes in easier. However, the CPU is uh, another four by four, and again, we have to kind of pinch it together as, as we plug it in. Now that we have most of the main components plugged in, when I'm, I'm gonna start kind of just doing a little bit of uh, cable management here. And I'm uh, gonna now bring over my power supply, and I'm going to read the labels as to what I have and then just start essentially plugging things in. Usually this is a pretty simple process because it's just um, however many pins you have, well, that's the matching power block that you need. And so that's simply what I'm doing right here. My PCI Expresses go into those uh, four palm blocks and other things go into the other matching blocks. Now, in my case, I have a GPU cooler, so I do have uh, this little guy right here with the old four pin connectors. The ATX power block itself on this power supply is actually divided into two components. So notice I have an upper and lower. I'm gonna go ahead and plug those both in. And when that's done, um, and I'm sure I have everything plugged in, we can now essentially plug in our power supply, line up our, our screw holes and, and get it uh, mounted back into our, into our case. Um, this will be the, the moment now to get any of those final peripherals. Again, this is for my GPU. You may or may not have something like this, um, but in this case, it was uh, a really simple connection because everything is already plugged into the back of the power supply. 
With that done, the uh, essentially the last step now is to double check all of our connections. Uh, make sure everything is, is plugged into the appropriate place uh, on the motherboard. So make sure those cables are, are nice and tight and fitting. Make sure they're not bending any of the components in your case. Uh, and here you'll see me, I'm actually gonna take this CPU and move that cable over. Uh, I'm gonna now hook up any of those final peripherals. Here's my big fan that I have for my passively cool GPU and I'm just gonna kinda slot that in and uh, we're basically gonna do one final check. Make sure nothing's obstructing any of the fans, it's plugged in right and uh, that's it. We have now installed our new uh, power supply.